And welcome to your Go Market update for today, Monday, the 26th of September. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here on what appears to be another negative sentiment day in markets at this stage. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. And of course, we saw that negative session continuing on Friday in the US with major indices within touching distance of June loans on the NASDAQ and the S&P 500. The Dow actually broke through June lows and are at year-to-date lows not seen since December. Weaker PMI data added to those economic concerns of increasing slowdown. US futures are down in Asian trading, suggesting this negative sentiment continues and Asian indices are following the negative US lead. ASX is down around 1.3% at this stage, which is off the lows. It did hit around about 1.9% at its worst, so it is significantly off the lows, but nevertheless is looking still pretty red. And European equity futures are pointing to a lower open at this stage also. The US dollar index continues to climb and continues this in Asia. We saw a GB pound sell off on UK tax cuts announcements on Friday. That upset the markets undoubtedly because it flies in the face of standard intervention. But we have a new Prime Minister trying to make her mark. Gold broke that 1660 support, it's testing March 2020 lows. And all broke downwards to test year to date lows. Copper also broke support at around about 340. So selling continues across all commodities today. Uh, the VIX is over 30 and moving towards three month highs. Bitcoin is still testing that 18600 support, but looks as though it is just about holding that at this stage. We've already had Japanese PMI data out this morning, which is mixed. We've got speeches from the ECB chair. Christine Lagarde and one of the Fed members, those will be watched for any further clues about central bank intervention. And we've also got Euro business data due this afternoon. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. And we've got significant movement on the Swiss yen. You can see that big sell off on Thursday, but you'll see we had that positive day on Friday only just. And we've got further follow through in today's trading. So it's starting to look interesting. So if we look at the 30 minute chart, we're actually keeping an eye on the high from Friday, which was also resistance here on Thursday to see if we can break through this 146.60. That's one to keep an eye on at this stage. Very little to shout about on the ASX. And one of the questions that we're often asked is about trading a bounce. And you can see here a great example. You can see the support there, which was tested on Friday at around about this 1070 level now we've got this very positive engulfing candle today one of the few stocks to be in positive territory and moving back upwards now this is really important in terms of the despite this engulfing candle usually good practice would be to wait for the subsequent candle to get involved in this to demonstrate that this may actually be a bounce but that is encouraging and one worth keeping an eye on in a day which is otherwise looking quite precarious on the ASX. So patience is the key on any of these stocks that you may consider to be trading a bounce strategy with. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.